Hello, and welcome to Greg Does Physics. Today we are again going to be working in uh, Griffith's intro to electrodynamics. And uh, we're still going to be working with some early uh, questions. This one in particular is from chapter one, specifically uh, problem 1.13. And this question says, let the vector script R be the separation vector from a fixed point x prime, y prime, z prime to the point x, y, z, and let script R be its length. Show that, starting with part A, that the gradient of script R squared is going to equal two times the vector script R. Um, that might sound like a bit of a word jumble, but to uh, write this out, our script R, like we said, is the distance from a fixed point, x prime, y prime, z prime, which over here we can think of as maybe like a source point, maybe there's a charge there. Um, and it's the distance from that to some point x, y, z, which is not fixed. And we could think about that as a point in maybe the field created by some electric charge, for example. To write that in Cartesian components, this is what it looked like, x minus x prime in the x hat direction, likewise with y hat, y hat and z hat. Um, or we could just write script r in the direction of script r hat. And uh, we want to take the gradient of, um, of quantities that uh, involve this script r. And gradient, of course, is just the um, partial derivative with respect to x of some scalar and that goes in the x hat direction um, and then so uh, likewise with uh, y and z components of the resulting vector. So um, let's start with part a which asks for the gradient of script r squared and uh, so, if, if we look at this, we know that the uh, magnitude of this vector is going to be these components added up, each one squared, and then the whole quantity square rooted. So, if we were going to take the gradient of the square of this, we would be taking the gradient of x minus x prime squared plus etc. Um, y minus y prime squared, c minus c prime squared. And so, uh, again, we'll look at this. Um, so for the x component of our gradient, we're going to derive this with respect to x. Since there are no x terms over here, uh, we really only need to look at this, and we would see that this would be 2, just chain rule. Um, it would be this. Likewise, we could do it with the y hat. We would derive with respect to y. Again, we would not be paying attention to this or the z terms. It would only be deriving with respect to y, and we would get the same thing with respect to y only uh, with y instead of x and in the y hat direction. And then again for z. And does this look familiar? It should, because in fact, this seems to just be two times our original separation vector, and so we can write that, and there we go. We have shown that the gradient of script r squared is equal to 2 times uh, the vector uh, r. So now we go on to part b, and this one asks us to show that the gradient of 1 over script r is going to be equal to minus script r hat over script r squared. Um, again, looking at what we know script r is, 
uh, we could instead write this as um, this whole quantity of x uh, minus x prime squared plus y minus y prime squared plus z minus z prime squared. Um, and if it were just script r, it'd be to the one half because it's square rooted. Only this is the inverse of that. So we can write this as uh, to the negative one half. And now, again, uh, we are going to be charged with uh, deriving this with respect to each of the three Cartesian variables, x, y, z. Um, and so, uh, if we were to start with, for example, um, d, d, x, and the x hat direction, uh, what we would get is first we'd bring down the one half, we have this whole big old quantity of x minus x prime squared plus likewise with y and z. This would drop down to minus 3 half and then we would multiply that according to chain rule uh, by what's inside and, and for x that would again just be 2 x minus x prime. We can cancel out the two with the one half, and um, again, uh, this this might look familiar uh, because it is basically the same thing as our uh, the magnitude of script R, only in this case rather than uh, it just being script R. It has uh, the exponent negative 3 times this square root. Uh, so we could instead write this component specifically as script r to the minus 3. Now, uh, just looking at this equation, we know that when we derive it for the y hat component and the z hat component, um, it's pretty much going to look the same. We're still going to get this whole minus one half times this quantity to the negative three half uh, term times two. The only difference will be that for y hat, it will be y minus y prime, and likewise with z. And so uh, to simplify things, and that this is in x hat dot dot dot, um, we can bring this r to the negative 3 out, uh, we could actually bring the whole negative r to, uh, negative script r to the negative 3 out, and then this, at this point, what we're left with, x minus x prime x hat plus y minus y prime y hat, etc, etc, is just going to be our original script r, the separation vector. And so, uh, knowing that uh, script, that this is just the same thing as uh, script r, the magnitude, times script r, the direction, script r hat, um, we could write this as i e end up with negative script r hat over script r squared. Boom, that's what we're looking for. Finally, we get to part C, and it wants a general formula for the gradient of script r raised to the nth power. Now, we've done it for negative one, we've done it for two, we want to generalize this. Uh, now we could start with just, um, if we are to, for example, let's just look at the x component. So the x component would be, doing chain rule, n 
script r to the n minus 1, and then multiplied by d script r dx. Uh, d script r dx at this point um, shouldn't be too hard to compute. Um, it's just this quantity, the one half, so n r n minus one times one half, um, one half, this whole quantity would drop down to minus one half, which is the same as one over script r. And then times the derivative of what's inside, which of course would just be two x minus x prime. So we can cancel these and we can uh, and then, of course, this would be in the x hat direction. So if we're going to generalize this to the entire gradient, not just the part of the gradient that's in the x hat direction, what we'll get is n r n minus 1. And what is this? Well, these x minus x prime in the x hat direction once we get that for all three components, that'll just be our separation, our original separation vector. But it's being divided by the magnitude of the separation vector. And so what we end up getting is script r hat, the direction of the separation vector. And so our final answer for the generalized formula should be n script r raised to the power n minus 1, then in the direction of the separation vector, um, script r hat. And real quick is just sort of a sanity check. Let's check and see if it works for A and B. So in A, uh, our n was 2. So this would be 2 times script r times r hat, which is just the same thing as 2 times the separation vector. Good. That's what we expected. Uh, now for b, our n is negative 1. So we'd get a negative times script r uh, to raised to the power of negative 2 in the r hat direction, i.e. negative script r hat over script r squared. So from our generalized formula, we've seen that it works with a and b, and uh, yeah, that's all. So uh, this is a good problem just for getting familiarized with this separation vector because you are going to see it a lot more once we get into the actual physics part of this rather than just sort of having it as this non-concrete, you know, mathematical uh, concepts, you know, not pre, they're pre-applied, I, I suppose you could say. And it gives us a good handle on how to use the gradient as well. Thank you.